Project 8-1 wants us to look at the startup configuration file. So we'll go to Control alt f 2 and log in as root and pass 1234. Mine is still asking me if I want the hello prompt or not. I'm going to hit no and I'm going to edit that file. The I believe it was the bash profile that we put it in. And I'm going to go down and delete our script. So I'm going to hit D5D on the keyboard. It deletes five lines. It looks like I missed one, uh, the land, last if statement. So I'm going to hit DD again to delete that. There's also a my variable that was done in a previous lab. I'm going to go and hit DD on the keyboard to delete that line. Now I'm going to hit escape colon WQ to write and quit. I won't get that yes and no question anymore for the hello prompt. With that fixed, 8-1 uh, wants us to look at the grub config file. So do less boot grub2 slash grub.cfg. This file is generated from the uh, grub2 make config command and they want us to look in here and find a timeout so we're going to have to scroll down several areas and then we come to where we see set timeout equals the default is five so we have five seconds to choose a menu option so after you find out in your list go going to hit q to quit next step is to edit the configuration file that the grub2 make config reads. So that is found under etc default grub. So use the vi editor to edit this file. And this is much simpler to read. It doesn't have all the scripts and um, code in it. So it just has regular commands and we want to change the timeout from 5 to 30. So use my I for insert, change the 5 to 30, hit escape, and save the file, colon WQ. Now to regenerate the file, we use the grub2 make config command, dash O, lowercase o, and then the path to that configuration file we just edited. Excuse me, now this will be the output of the grub config slash boot slash grub2 grub.cfg so it's going to read the default uh, grub file that we just made a change to and generate the output here on the grub cfg so grub grand, grand unified bootloader Now it doesn't tell us to, but I want to go back and look at the configuration file. So I'm going to hit my up arrow key until I get my list command back. I'm going to enter, and I'm going to scroll down and see if that entry changed. Here we see the timeout has changed to 30 instead of 5 as it was previously. I'm going to hit Q and reboot the system. Here when it comes up, we'll notice that it has a countdown timer of 30 seconds. So if you notice at the bottom, it's now 28-27. It wants us to hit uh, C to go to a command prompt and type the word help. And we can use the space bar to go page at a time of all the commands that are available with grub2. So this is the little bootloader program that loads up before the operating system loads. So lots of things you can do with um, grub version 2. LSPCI will show us all the adapters that are plugged into the controller. 
such as our hard disk controller, any sound controller, USB, Ethernet, and such. Now it has this list environment, which on many systems will show the last Linux that was started. There's many more options you can do at the grub prompt, but now they want us to reboot and edit the startup line. So here at the countdown timer, I'm going to hit E on the keyboard to edit the startup file. They want us to scroll down so you find the word Linux. So it'll be towards the bottom. And right here, it's actually Linux 16 for this version. And I want us to um, go to that line and hit end on the keyboard to put your cursor at the very end of that line. On my screen, it wraps to three separate uh, lines. And they want us to type the word single. That will boot up into single mode, which means you won't have the graphical interface or multi-user interface. The only thing you'll be able to do is log in as root. Logging into single mode is normally for disaster recovery type feature for scanning EXT version file systems for corruption. So if we hit F10 on the keyboard, it will boot normally with that change, the word single. So here we go into single mode and we'll supply the root password of pass1234. You'll notice it will not ask for the username because again it is single mode, only one user, so only one user available is full administrator. So I'll put pass1234. We're dropped into single mode or maintenance mode. They don't want us to do any disaster recovery at this point and Probably a better disaster recovery would be the previous labs that we did where we booted off the CD and went into recovery mode. That way if you're using the new EX, um, EFS file system that uh, you'll be able to manage it. This file system in single mode, EFS or the default, will not, uh, you'll not be able to modify it. So we'll just reboot here and get back into normal for the next lab.